Welcome to this special edition of Voices right here from Studio One. My name is Luis Albaringa, and today I have John Hankins. Welcome, John. Hi. You are a person who are an activist in the community, and we're going to be talking about rethinking AIDS and also the Red Ribbon um, Ride. Please tell us a little bit more. I know that you are uh, very active in the community, and you have been also a person who um, are a living proof of living with AIDS. So can you tell us a little bit of the story and how you are now active in the community doing all this work? Sure. I uh, first tested HIV positive in January 1986. That's right. When That's I was just right. 18 years old. Um, I was told I had five years to live and um, uh, denied entrance to the Navy. Um, that was over 23 years ago. Um, I've gone through a lot of changes since then and um, uh, first found out about rethinking AIDS uh, in 1993 when I read a book called Inventing the AIDS Virus. Yes. Um, I became a dissident and, uh, and then at that point I refused to take the AZT which was prescribed to me and sure. um, I, I benefit that with, with why I've lived so long with HIV. Certainly. And now you are active in the community. Um, I know that you have a website and um, it is called um, rethinking, um, rethinking AIDS. You work with uh, different, different projects. One of them is Rethinking AIDS, and one of them is the Red Ribbon Drive. And you have your own website. We yes. will be telling the community with this, w where the websites are so you can be able to participate, engage, and contribute. So please tell me about the, let's, let's visit a little more. You have been, living with AIDS and you know that um, it is time for you to communicate that to the entire society. How, how do you go about telling the story about living with AIDS, rethinking AIDS? Um, well, there's, there's many websites all over the world that are dedicated to um, the scientific reappraisal of AIDS. Uh, the main one is rethinkingaids.com. Uh, that is not my site. It is a, I think it's based out of uh, uh, the person who started it lives in Canada, and uh, but it, there's people all over the world that work on the site, um, and uh, so I'm not employed by the site in any way. I just I just uh, support it. Uh, sure, it's sure. it's As beliefs. Part of the activism. Yes, and um, yes. they are actually having a conference in November in Oakland, California, just wow. outside of San Francisco, from November 6th to the 8th, uh, called the Rethinking AIDS Conference 2009. Perfect, perfect. So there is a lot of people who are in the same situation like you. Yes. Um, I have recently purchased the website for uh, wearelivingproof.org. Aha, wearelivingproof.org. Uh, yeah, it's for uh, people from all over the world who have lived for a long time with HIV who don't take the meds, um, or ARVs, antiretrovirals. Um, and one of the main, um, most well-known recent ones to publish a book her name is Maria Pampadangenu. Pap Please, we're going to be showing you um, this, particular, um, this particular book that has been published. Uh, Maria? Um, Maria? Uh, Papagiandenu. Papagiandenu. Yes, and, and she is, lives in, in Greece. She lives in Greece. Yes, and uh, she's actually Can a Greek. Can you show me to camera three, please? Yes, she's a Greek journalist, and she wrote this book um, several months ago, and it, it was recently published and had a uh, book launching in Greece, and she's actually done um, news programs in Greece about the subject as well. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, friends, amigos, we are talking to John Hankins, Living with AIDS, and um, I want to invite you to know that he's going to be very active in this particular, I'm going to show to camera three this, um, this, but I want you to know that you can support um, this project by, by looking at uh, different, uh, the different possibilities as you support the community here in Minnesota, especially. And John, tell me a little bit more about um, living with AIDS. I imagine that has been a very long journey. Yes. Um, How many years, John? Uh, just over 23 and a half years. 23 and a half, half years. years, yes. You were, you were, uh, you I were was eight, 18 years old. I was going to enter the Navy, and sure. um, on the Navy entrance exam, I uh, did not uh, pass the HIV test. Uh, they told me that I had five years to live. Wow. 
And I was so young that I didn't even, I wasn't depressed yes. or um, overly, um, uh, you know, depressed about the issue. And I think that also contributed to me getting past that initial shock of finding out that, you know, you're told you have five years left to live. But a lot of people, when they're, when they're that age, they can't see past tomorrow anyway. So sure. that's kind of how I was. Wow. I can imagine all the, all the different um, elements of your own growth and your faith and your life and your activism. Um, I really appreciate what you're doing. Uh, at the end of the program, we are going to be doing um, more information for you. We're going to give you more information and details how you can be in touch with John through email, through the website, for you to be able to contact John. And especially if you want to support the Red Ribbon Ride or the communities with uh, rethinking AIDS. And um, I am very, very glad to, uh, how can people be in touch with you? Um, they can contact me on my email at johnhankins67 at yahoo.com. johnhankins67 at yahoo.com. Or um, I do have a personal temporary website at yes. netvibes.com backslash I am living proof. I am living proof. 23 years. 23 and you a half years. 23 and a half years. You are living proof. Anything else you want to tell the community um, about uh, your, your life, your project, your activism? Sure, sure. I, um, about nine months ago, I finally, I had struggled with alcohol and drug addiction my whole life. Uh, and then I finally uh, re received some relief from that nine sure. months ago, and uh, mm -hmm. I quit smoking cigarettes. Wow, that's um, a whole new lifestyle. Yes, and I, I've gotten very involved with the cause. Um, I went to AIDS Watch 2009 sure. as the only dissident member of NAPWA, the National Association of People with AIDS, and the only HIV-positive person from Minnesota to attend um, to protest the passing of ETHA, wow. which is the Early Treatment HIV Act. Yes. Um, and then uh, also I am going to the Rethinking AIDS conference in November from November 6th to the 8th. John, tell us about the particular red ribbon on top of the green ribbon. This is very sure. nice. Uh, I would like to ask you the meaning. I think, I think you can go. Sure. Okay. I, um, the red ribbon historically represents uh, all the people who have died of AIDS and in honor of all the people who have died of AIDS and in honor of AIDS activism. Uh -huh. The green ribbon is a relatively new uh, designation for rethinking AIDS cause. Um, and since I have a lot of friends and loved ones who died of AIDS, I wear the red one in honor of them. And I wear the green ribbon in honor of life and of rethinking AIDS and uh, the possibilities that have not been um, um, achieved yet. Really wonderful symbol. What is the name for it? The green, the red, and green together? How do uh, you it doesn't have a name really, um, a name. but the the red ribbon represents regular re represents AIDS historically, and the green ribbon represents rethinking AIDS. Rethinking AIDS. Perfect. When we come back, more with John Hankins. Rethinking AIDS, and particularly, we're going to be talking about the Red Ribbon Ride when we come back. Special edition from Studio One. Perfect. That can be a nice.